I'm Louise and today I'm joined by Andrew from Logitech G. Hey all. We're going to be talking about how to program macros on your Logitech G gear. But first off, if it's your first time here, remember to hit that subscribe button. So Andrew, macros, what are they and why would someone want to program them? Yeah, so um, one of the great things about our Logitech G gear is that we can program it to do pretty much anything thanks to the macro editor in G-Hub. So uh, macros are just programmable commands or you know a succession of events or actions that you want to do with a, the press of a key. So for this example, we use the G513 keyboard, which all the F keys can be programmed to do macros. Sure. So in G-Hub, if you want to edit the macros or customize, you go to the assignments view, which is the tab over here that looks like that plus sign. <laughs> um, and then you have a bunch of different types of things that you can program. Um, so we've categorized them into commands, keys, actions, macros, and system. There's another great way that you can search for something because there's actually a lot going on in here, right? Um, at the very basic level, if you find what you're looking for, let's say, for example, you want to do copy and paste, um, you just want to put a hotkey in there, you're using it all the time, you want to go blah, 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 you can just click and drag, and as simple as that. And now this has been assigned to copy. Perfect. Um, but you can also search for a command here with the search. So if there's something you're looking for, whether it's a system command or you don't want to, you know, look through the you entire want to thing. Through it. It's easy to search that way as well. Um, we also have this great new addition called Actions. And Actions is a way for you to directly interact with applications okay. through an API control. Um, this can be very useful for streamers and people like that because you can actually control applications like Discord and OBS directly. So for example, if you have scenes or things you want to change in OBS, you can assign them to Mac. Yeah, because that's something that people would use external pieces of hardware for, but you've got it built right in if you want it. That's correct. Um, and we also took a look at um, the G shift key, mm -hmm. which you can use as sort of an alternate you know, set of commands yep. while you're holding it. It's sort of like a controller shift key where it alters the functions okay. of the device. So that would be another great way to use um, the API command. So on your mouse, um, if you're a streamer, you can just simply use your mouse as a way to then modify the keys on the mouse to do things in your application. Thanks to the capabilities of GHub, there's really sort of an endless combination of things. Actually, we'd be remiss if we didn't look at the actual macro editor itself. So um, if you go to macros and then say create new macro, there are a ton of ways that you can actually use this to customize. So we'll just call this new macro. There are four different categories of macro. Okay. No repeat, which is sort of just you hit it and it does it once. Oops. You can do repeat while holding, which does what you'd expect. Yep. Um, a toggle, which you click it, it will continue doing whatever it's doing until you click it again. Okay. Um, and then there's sequence, which sort of will do things in order, right? Yeah, so now that we've selected the um, you know no repeat macro, we can take a look at how you start adding actions in here. Essentially, you can add anything you want, record keystrokes, text. You can also add actions, application launching, all sorts of different things into one macro. Into one button. That's mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. And that's what's really cool about this is it's uh, essentially endless what you can combine together into one or many macro keys. Incredible. So the community portal, does that mean that people can upload their macros so that other people can use them? That's correct. So if you've either created something that works really well and it's something you think other people would like, you can upload it and share it. You can create tags for it so people can find it. Alternatively, you can also use the community portal to find other settings people have created. Amazing. So even if you don't want to create them yourself, you can just go and see what everyone else has got. That's it. Amazing. Thank you very much. Of course. So that's everything you need to know about macros to improve your gaming experience with your Logitech G gear. As ever, if you have any questions for Andrew, pop them in the comments below and we'll get him to answer them for you. Drop us a like if you enjoyed this video and don't forget to subscribe to Logitech G for more videos and tutorials just like this one.